Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are, as you can see by my little antlers, we are going to be reviewing and demoing the ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer collection. So yeah, I'm excited. This is like, I think my first holiday um, tutorial of the year. So we're ready to get into the spirit, you know. Um, excuse my background i know like for halloween i had like some spider webs up um for christmas i don't have any decorations so we're back to the norm but okay i'm ready to jump right into the products so as you can see today we're going to talk about the first thing that came with the collection these antlers they're clips and they're really cute on the website they're called the reindeer hair clips um it's under makeup tools and accessories on ColourPop, and it says oh dear it doesn't get any cuter than these reindeer hair clips which i'm not gonna lie i think i said this in the hocus pocus um video i did but the little accessories that come with collections are always my favorite especially when they get this creative like the clips the reindeer antler clips i think it's so cute so yeah you guys gotta cop these especially like you can wear these on christmas day i think they would be really cute in pictures i think usually people just wear like a you know the normal santa hat on christmas but you know we'll switch it up or whatever and these are cute so let's move into the next product next product that we have in the rudolph the red nose reindeer collection is this humble bumble mega mood melt cool mint bath soak and it looks like this it's really cute it's in the shape of a snowflake if you enjoy bath bombs then go ahead and get this bath bomb as well i can smell it kind of through the package it doesn't really smell that minty but i wonder like when i drop it in my water will it like give off that aroma but yeah let's move on into the next product and so one thing i just want to say to you guys i haven't unboxed everything yet just because the packaging is so cute that i wanted to share the packaging with you guys so that's why i'm showing you guys the boxes today and then i'm gonna be unboxing and showing the actual product so the next product that i have for you guys is this rudolph lippy scrub it says this rudolph decoration has a treat for your lips and i'll just show you guys the packaging it looks like this it actually has like a little Thing. like you can hang it on your tree I'm not gonna do that just because it doesn't match <laughs> it doesn't match my tree and it's just a box but it's a cute concept and then we have a cute little reef on the package it's super cute red and white hmm I'm just gonna open it to smell it I don't know if it's gonna have any type of aroma oh it smells like vanilla I think oh I like that I like that a lot so I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like and the next product that we have today is a lip mask I think it is called Clarice um so for the lip mask it says Rudolph fans you'll love this cute Clarice decoration and lip mask I feel like you guys probably couldn't really see it but it's a bow tie and a couple of snowflakes with a light blue cap and of course I want to give this one a smell too so Mm, I think it's supposed to be like a peppermint candy cane or something like that. This smells really good and my lips, they look dry right now. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I hope this isn't like a plumper or anything because I don't know how I feel about that. It's an overnight lip mask, but y'all know I don't care. I'm about to go ahead and apply it. I got some on the um, lid thing that comes in it. So, ooh. that's giving really plump and juicy and actually it's it doesn't really feel like a plumper there's like a slight tingle but I like it uh, I like minty stuff if you guys don't know so it's really cool to me but it's not like tingly like I have this one elf cosmetics lip gloss and it's burned like it absolutely burned I could not wear it. I just I don't even know where it is but yeah I really ooh. And it's sweet <laughs> moving into the next product we have jingle 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 the shimmering body powder and it looks like this it's really cute packaging i swear this entire collection is just adorable and to be honest i wasn't gonna purchase it but then i was like i 
I can't pass this one up. <laughs> so here we have a cute little compact. It's red and when I flip it, there's a little mirror and then the product is right here. Um, it looks like it might be a little like gold champagne type of powder. I can kind of tell that this isn't really highlight material. It's very, very subtle. Um, it's not a bad thing. If you do like a subtle highlight, then I would definitely give this a shot. But I don't know that I'll use this one today just because I'm not really showing any of my shoulders or anything like that today. So um, that's why I went ahead and just swatched it for you guys just because I think that... Um, this one I might not use today. So now let's jump into the lip products that we have today. So it came with two lip duos, I think they're called. And one of them is I Think You're Cute. Um, and let's open it up. Guys, this packaging is absolutely to die for. Like I cannot believe they hooked it up like this. But okay, so I Think You're Cute consists of Clarice Luxe Lipstick and Clarice Lippy Pencils. So I'm gonna swatch those as well. But yeah, looking at both of these colors, they're pretty much two nudes and they're really cute. I hope that, you know, they look right on me. I feel like if, once I get into the really, really light nudes, they're not that cute. They look a little bit ashy, but I'm gonna try them on later after my eye demo. So now we're moving into the Lip Duo kit called There's Always Tomorrow. And this comes with the Rudolph Lux Lipstick and the Rudolph Lippy Pencil. So I'm gonna swatch these as well. And these are, ooh, dark red. I can't wait for that. Okay, and that one definitely was giving me like cranberry-ish vibes. It's really cute. I can't wait to try that one on. And so now for the last lip products, I think we have, let's see, what are these called? These are the Lux Gloss Trio. We have shades Hermie. It could be Hermie, I don't know. Dolly and Misfit Elephant. And this is called the Couple of Misfits Trio. So this is what all the glosses look like. Now, but certainly not least, what everybody's been waiting for, the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Palette. This is their pressed powder palette. And the packaging looks like this so here's a look into the palette we have some nice reds and browns and i am very intrigued by the green so i think we're gonna use the green today i'm not sure though. okay so now that i've showed you guys all the products that i have from the collection now i'm just going to hop right into the eye demo
Hey guys, so here we have the final eye look and I think it turned out perfect. So let's try on these glosses first. I'm going to try on the glosses first just because I know that it's harder to get off lipstick. So we're going to go gloss, nude lipstick, red lipstick. Okay, so yeah, let's get into this lip gloss. So the first shade that I'm going to be trying today is Hermie or Ermi, I don't know which one it is, but yeah, it is a clear gloss with a lot of glitter. Ooh. Well, automatically with this lip gloss, I'm like, eh, it's already a little bit too much glitter for me. Um, I can kind of feel it, I think, and I don't really like that. If you guys have been on my channel for a while now, you know I'm not really into the glitter like that, but um, we'll talk about it later. The next shade I'm going to go in with is called a Dolly. So you guys, this gloss I kind of like. Um, it has like a hint of pink in it. Um, I think it's really cute. The glitter almost isn't as overpowering as the clear, I guess because it's clear, so the main thing you're going to see is the glitter, but this one is actually kind of cute. <laughs> and now we're moving into the very last lip gloss. This one is called Misfit Elephant, so I'm just going to try this one on. So with this shade, it has like kind of a peachy undertone and I think it's also cute. It kind of reminds me of the last one. So now it's time to move into the very last lip products and I am about to go in with the nude lipstick first. guys this is the shade Clarisse in both the lip liner and the lipstick and it is very pale and it's almost coming off as like a pinky nude um, I think it's okay personally it's not really my style but I do think it's kind of cute and actually I think I'm just gonna try the shade misfit elephant on top just to see if it adds a little razzle dazzle i kind of think making it a little bit glossier kind of adds to it so i would probably wear it with a gloss so let's move into the last shade So you guys, this was the lip liner and lipstick in the shade Rudolph. And this is such a classic red. Like I said earlier, it's like a cranberry mixed with wine. And I absolutely love it. This is the perfect holiday red, in my opinion. Like you shouldn't miss out on this lipstick. So let's quickly talk about the products overall. Okay, you guys, so starting off with today's palette. Number one, I think that... This palette did have a little bit of fallout. I don't know, maybe if it was just me, if I was just being too heavy handed this time. But yeah, I'm really glad that I didn't do my base first because I did go in with this dark green. So overall, I think that the palette has really nice shades, especially for the holiday time and simply for the packaging. Like you guys should definitely purchase this palette in my opinion. Um, only thing I'll say about this palette is it's not like that different from any other palette you could find i mean the only thing that really caught my attention is the green and that's why i went in with the green eyeshadow today because i really wanted to use that one other than that i do have like burgundies and browns and stuff like that so if you have those colors as well then maybe you can skip out on this palette another thing i want to talk about is the lip mask um i really like the lip mask it made my lips very soft and i can understand why it's an overnight mask because just literally wearing it for like an hour or two yes it takes me a long time to film these videos but just wearing it for as long as I did my lips 
it seemed like they just changed so i definitely will be wearing that at nighttime it reminded me a lot of the lip mask from the powerpuff girl collection so that's kind of cool too i'm really interested in trying the lip scrub i didn't want to use that today but yeah i'm gonna have to try that again at a later date for me personally when it comes to the lip gloss trio i could have passed on that just because i those aren't my type of lip glosses they were very thick i noticed when i was putting them on um there's nothing wrong with thick lip gloss i actually love a thick lip gloss but i think the thickness and the glitter was not really a good combination for me personally so yeah i would you know i would definitely pass on the lip glosses however the red rudolph which i said before that lipstick shade i love it i think it's really cute and also these antlers that's the butt like i love the antlers <laughs> these are just too cute so yeah did i miss anything i think the only things that i missed are the bath bomb and the body powder as far as the bath bomb if you love bath bombs go ahead and purchase but you can really purchase a bath bomb anywhere that's just my opinion um like i said i just like to get these whole collections for you guys to review and then with the body powder like i said earlier it's not really like a highlighter so if you're looking for a highlighter don't buy it <laughs> definitely don't buy that one um if you're interested in putting like a little glitz on the shoulders go for it um this is a christmas collection so obviously i don't have my shoulders out in this video like on a turtleneck so yeah i don't know that was just something i guess that came up with but i would have rather had it like a highlighter or maybe like a red blush come in this um collection but that's just me <laughs> overall this entire collection i definitely want to give it an eight and i know that's <laughs> i know that's really high however this packaging is bomb like i love the packaging like the packaging already had it at a six for me and then the makeup that i did use and like the lipsticks great formula ColourPop always has really good formulas nice eyeshadows Ooh, i wish they would have had a super shock shadow with this collection as well but they didn't you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're new here make sure you subscribe to my channel i'm getting really close to 500 subscribers so i'm excited about that and also if you really like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up because that just helps my videos it also helps me know if you guys like this type of content or not so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video i'm so happy the holidays are here and i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving i'll see you guys in the next video